everyone has their own story to tell. So do I. The thing with my story which makes it different is, no matter who you are, you can relate to it at some point. So, let's enjoy this journey. So, before I introduce myself to tell you who I am, I should tell you who I was. I am Amir Sanja. 30 years old who was living alone and took care of myself. I graduated in cyber security and was working in a company which was in contract with government. And basically, even in my job, I was working alone too. In my lunch break, I ate outside. They gave me project and I did my job, nice and neat. And of course, on time. So far it may have looked routine, because in society we do what we are supposed to do. But when we get back to our personal life, then differences become more apparent based on our style, environment and our mind. I have two cars. I used left one when I did not care about how people viewed me, and right one when I wanted to make a good impression. Most of the time I went to the library after work to increase my knowledge, to make sure those things I believed are right, we're right. Almost every day I fed my crested gecko and took care of him, even though my favorite animal was wolf. But since people around me always got creeped out when I talk about them, I couldn't get a chance to be around wolves. Still I loved my gecko, he had place to live, food, water, safety, like me. He seemed happy. Look at that smile. Almost every day I studied and practiced religions. Yes, religions, because my dad was Muslim from Lebanon and my mom was Christian from America. Because of similarity between them I respected and believed I belonged to both. Everything made sense and was obvious, even proved by scientists and doctors. I don't know why sometimes accepting right and wrong thing was hard for others. Sometimes I practiced drum, even though I was an amateur, but was so excited about music. I felt music set my mind free and everything was good. Until one of those times on the way to practice, I accidentally bumped into someone that was obviously not as straight, and that ruined all good vibes that I had. Is it so difficult for people to understand something so wrong? That dude made my mind become overwhelmed with thoughts and I couldn't focus on practice that night and even on the way back, I was thinking how to guide and help these people. Anyway, back to where we were. Sometimes I went to gym. I believe the healthy soul is in healthy body.
I used punching bag to release my anger and energy to avoid harming others. Sometimes I got too aggressive and I did not know where all those aggressions came from. Best part of gym was running on treadmill. I always ran till got tired to not have energy to think about any thoughts. I felt I was running away from many things, loans, rents, negative thoughts, life pressure, work and every doubt which was hidden in my fate. I just wanted to leave them. Then I took a shower to wash all pain and fatigue away. Sometimes when my work was a lot, I stayed home to finish them on time. It is true that physically I could not leave the house, but mentally I could, and even beyond the earth. That was the best part of my life that I could be somewhere that I wanted, even if that wasn't physically possible. Somewhere outside of any belongingness and judgment that we created for ourselves, or they made for us. Somewhere in a space. Every other weekend I went on a date with my girlfriend. We lived three hours away from each other because of our schedules we couldn't see each other during the week. She was a nurse and her shifts mostly were at night. She liked me with a beard so I stopped shaving every few days before we could meet. Both of us loved Asian food and always on the way to her I got some. I also liked fortune cookie, even maybe more than Asian food itself. One of the fortune things that I read was weird. It did not make sense at all. Find the helpless. It can help. Helpless? Who is helpless? That was the strangest thing I have ever read. Anyway, our relationship was good. Our family and friends thought we fit together. To be honest, we have had good times. But still, I was not sure that she was my choice in the first place. Or others forced us to be together. Well... Like any other relationship, we had some disagreements. Although apparently our relationship was going forward, but unbeknownst, it was going upside down. Once in a while, I gathered my friends to have fun. They were very good friends of mine. However, still I felt I was alone in a crowd. I had everything, but still I was negative. I felt somehow they expected me to be how I became, but maybe in the first place I was not the Amir they wanted. I felt they heard me, but never understood me. We people give gifts to respect each other and make good memories in our mind to get closer to each other. But there is no way to become closer than through understanding, and that is the best gift that we could ever give. But anyway, this type of respect is what we are supposed to do, and we keep going in that way without knowing the logic behind. Long story short, Finn. One of those rare days I had time for myself to go and think, why with having everything around myself, still I felt something was wrong. So I hit the road. When I was on my way, it again happened. Again? again. I saw that dude. 
Why did I have to see this helpless man to mess my mind up when I wanted to be just alone and clear my mind? What? Why did I just say helpless? Why did I say that? I think I heard or read somewhere. Oh yeah, in Fortune's cookies saying I saw helpless. That's a sign. There's a reason that I saw him today. That's the helpless. That's the helpless. I tried to pick him up. Then I could talk to him. Perhaps I could understand him. Then I would be able to help him. He denied first. But after I insisted, he accepted. And got in car. I believed it was not an accident and was the sign. We went somewhere to have a chat together. In the beginning, I wanted to get closer to him gradually to not make him feel offended. But I don't know what happened that I couldn't control my feelings and I went a little harsh. I don't know if that was because of the extra aggression that I did not know where it came from. Or maybe it was because I was so confident about my beliefs that I did not find any reason in beating around the bush. Anyway, we started the discussion and I wanted to know what happened to him earlier in his life to lead him there. He said he was always like that, nothing led him there. I said it cannot be though. Something somewhere must have happened to him to affect him to end up not being straight. He said, yes, it can be though. And by scientists, it has been proven that some people are born in that way. I said, so probably they got paid to say that or they wanted to be famous, so they indicated that. Nevertheless, every religion said that it is wrong. He found out I was religious or at least a believer. So he asked, how come when those scientists say something that proves our religion is right, we take it. We never say they got paid to say that or they wanted to be popular. In those cases, we buy their words easily. But when their results are not what we like to hear, we call their results fake. Just this dude like was right. Until then, all my studies were for proving religion and I always I took it without any doubt. Whatever. I couldn't give up in that moment. It was my duty to defend my beliefs at any cost. So I started to bring any excuse that I could come up with. Since I did not have proper answers for this helpless dude, I went too harsh and I started to act stupid and said, I am normal. You are not normal. He said, if I do not fit into your beliefs, then it is your problem, not mine. He left the money for the coffee and walked away. I was exploding from inside. Finally, I was alone as I planned in the beginning to see why I was thinking something was wrong in my life. At least this time, I knew what was wrong. Anger was in every cell of my body and my aggressions were at maximum level. I wanted to scream, but I couldn't. Something was shutting me down. After all my confidence and my studies and practices, a dude messed with all my faith that I could never expect. And I couldn't get my things together. I was changing and everything lost its color for me.
this time that I went on the date, I was not the Amir that I was supposed to be, but the Amir that I might want to be. And that caused a problem. Everyone thinks if we are not the way they think is right, then we are wrong. Perhaps the helpless dude was right. If I do not fit into your beliefs, then it's your problem, not mine. Maybe I wanted to be different. That night I was just myself, not a person who I was supposed to be, and it made us break up. For one year I was lost in time. As soon as I decided to not be who I was supposed to be, people around me got less and less and less. I became alone. I neither had the place that I used to lean on, nor any place to go. Finally, I got brave enough to challenge everything that I built my life based on. Those things that I tried to share to others. Still, I kept my faith. So I got the smallest notebook so I could write my flaws in it. I was drowning in my thoughts. And no one was there to save me. After a little research, but this time without prejudice, I realized that I needed a bigger notebook. Damn man, where had all the proof been on the website to show flaws in my beliefs? Maybe always they were there, but I never went toward them. As much as I had proof for my beliefs, I saw proof against them. Maybe even more. The best word that could describe me in that moment was helpless. Helpless, helpless, helpless. Ah! I was leaking. I got to a dead end and I broke my rules. First, I laughed. <laughs> then I cried. <laughs> <laughs> and again I laughed First I laughed because I did not know where I belonged to and that was funny after all. Tears after were because it is painful to not have any place to lean on. The second round of laughter 
was because at least I was free from anything for the first time. On one cold and dark night when I was thinking alone that if I did not belong to anywhere, then I did not have any purpose, and if I did not have any purpose, then it means my life was pointless. Always a bitter ending is better than endless bitter. Sometimes it is better to not get too much in detail. Maybe that was the last time I was thinking, even to not thinking. maybe not. Maybe giving up was not the solution. Even if you are the loser in this game, at least this game is going on. A train is always there. It is up to us to give up and get hit by it or get a ride to get somewhere. For a few months I tried to have the least possible contact with the outside to get the least amount of influence from others to be able to find out who I really was without any association. I do not say I was right, that dude was wrong or vice versa. I am saying our beliefs are personal and we cannot rule others' life based on our perspectives. We need weight on both sides of the scale to keep balance. Maybe it is how the earth still is spinning. For life there is darkness, for matter is antimatter. If everyone was on one side of the scale, maybe this world would lose its balance. Finally again I came back to the world after a long time that I spent on my thoughts and I decided to find my place in this world. Now I get any animal that I like. Now I know why I like wolves so much and feel a connection between us. Always a lonely free wolf is better than a popular leashed puppy. A wolf is always a wolf, but puppies are what that their owners want them to be. I prefer wolves. Now I date anyone that I want not whom I am supposed to. Now I pick any car that I feel like, no matter around who. Now I see all this time my gecko was not happy. He did have food, shelter, water and safety. But he did not have the most important thing. Freedom. He's happier to be free even if living in cages is easier. It is fair to give him what now I was always looking for. So we went to our destination. Not in a crazy crowded city though, with all those thoughts, but somewhere quiet and neutral, that all of us belong to it, nature. Everyone says this country is land of opportunity, but I say first it was land of freedom to create all those opportunities to let people use their potential no matter who. I told you who I was, but who am I? Well, I'm going to find out. But this time, I am free. I am positive. <laughs>